Well, getting from point A to point B almost always involves your smartphone these days, and maps have become an essential part of mobile devices. As ABC7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explains, the competition to have the best maps is heating up with a new competitor. Weaving its way through the busy streets of San Francisco, this bright blue Volkswagen with its cadre of cameras and 64 spinning laser beams is about to give Google and Apple a run for their money. We're actually creating a 3D representation uh, of the world as we're doing this, and that's much different than just taking pictures. Cliff Fox is a senior VP at Nokia, yes, the cell phone maker. Five years ago, it bought Navtech, the company that makes maps for Ford, Cadillac, and almost every other dashboard navigation system. Now, Nokia is bringing those maps to your smartphone with an app called Here. You're able to zoom in and zoom out super clearly. You can see the 3D representations of the buildings. And what's cool with this map's release is actually if I press here, you can see inside the building. Just like a car navigation system, Here stores the entire map on your phone instead of slowly downloading it as you move around. It comes on Nokia's own Windows phones, also as a web app for your desktop, and soon as an app for the iPhone, an alternative to the heavily criticized Apple Maps. And unlike Apple, whose imagery all comes from the sky, Nokia's fancy cars let it offer a view from the street, just like Google Maps. That detail is not available from, from aerial uh, kinds of capture. Nokia is throwing its hat in the rain at a time when smartphone owners may be more aware than ever that all maps are not created equal. Apple's had this terrific fiasco with its Apple Maps launch. Em huge embarrassment for, for Apple, and that creates opportunities for competitors like Nokia. Venture Beats Dylan Tweeney says the maps are high quality, but may represent a desperate move for Nokia. They've lost a huge amount of market share in their phones. Uh, in fact, they've fallen even behind the makers of BlackBerry. And Maps is one of the things that they still have that they haven't completely screwed up. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, ABC7 News.